Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, it's me. Same day, different video. Hubby decided that yes, we should do kombucha again. So here is how I make my kombucha. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. So you're going to need four cups of boiling hot water. You're going to need a live scoby. I hope you got one. And you're also going to need organic green tea and organic black tea. Now, I don't like mine it's very bitter, so I do about three bags of the black tea. Three bags of the black tea, and then I do five bags of the green tea. So you need four cups of hot water, eight bags of any of the tea, whether it's the black tea. Usually, to start a scoby is original format is a black tea but since my scoby is strong i can actually mix it in with the green tea from my understanding on this and all the research that i have done you cannot do the green tea if you don't have a strong scoby so you need a strong scoby in order to mix in the green tea um honey i when i first started i did buy a mother uh, and then I did a bunch of them with the green tea to get the strong scoby and hubby drank all of those and then now I can drink it because it's not as hard because I used the green tea. So let's get started shall we? So you need four cups of boiling water. We're going to put this to boil and while this boils we're going to go get the rest of the ingredients. Alright guys, you cannot use brown sugar, you cannot use honey, it has to be white sugar in order to do kombucha. So no cheating, white sugar. and eight now this comes later on so you can see my scoby is very old and very strong and it's still nice and bubbly now we're waiting for the hot water the water boiled so we're doing the four cups all the way to the top then we have to dissolve the sugar Let it steep with the sugar for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Pretty sure that this is dissolved. I like to hold the bags down if I can. <laughs> it's 
much as I can. So I usually like using the wide mouth for this, but I did use it for my <laughs> vanilla extract that I got going on here. Yes, I'm making my own vanilla extract. And I don't have another wide jar. It's in the barn. It's in the barn. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this one. It's all right. I can still do it in that one. Um, the only difference is that the scoby is going to be smaller. But it's still the same. It's all right. It's all right, people. It's all right. All right. So... I don't have my little rubber thingies that hold off with the rings. So I'm going to have to go old school, use a coffee filter, a rag, and then I use the ring around it just to do the same concept. Make sure no bugs go around it. Now the most nastiest thing about this job is picking up the booger. I call it a booger. It's the scoby people, but I call it the booger. So... Clearly, I have lots of them in here. This thing's got to be mad bitter. Because this is the true mumbo jumbo. So I'm just going to take a scoby from here. If it ends up coming out. Putting it in here. Because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to use this one as well because it's dark. Smells very vinegary, vinegary, so we're good to go. Don't want to use anything else. Hmm. Maybe if I can find another small piece. I mean, the darker the better. It means it's been there forever. And now, because I disrupted it, it's actually, this is going to create another SCOBY, by the way. That's how it works. So I have plenty of SCOBYs in here. I tend to toss them out. I just make sure they don't have any creepy stuff coming on them or any, like, fungal things coming out of them. Which, they don't. They look pretty good. I'm also going to put... Just to get it started, a little bit of the liquid, just so it can begin its process. So now we got to wait for this to cool down to temperature. And let me hide this because I do have a lot of bug, uh, bugs. I have a lot of fruit flies roaming around due to all the sugar stuff that I got. So we're going to let this cool down to room temperature and then we can pour it into in here, close it up, put it in a dark place for seven days. Then we come back and do the next process. All right, guys, now that this is room temperature, I'm going to fill this one up to the top with the... One cup of sugar and the eight bags of the tea. You have to say it took about, I don't know, about half hour for it to cool down and do its thing. So right now we're just going to fill this up to the top. Not without the green bag. And then there's always a little bit left, and I'm going to put that in the one that we took some of the liquid from. And then now we just cover it up, put it in a dark place for a week. So I leave it about a week to become kombucha. So I'm going to leave it in here with my other stuff that I have brewing in here <laughs> and then it's gonna stay in here for a week I'm gonna put the rest of that liquid in here 
remainder into this one because you always need extra liquid. Put that in my compost. This in my compost. And this in here. There we go. And then I'll put this with the other one next to it. Now, you can drink it like this in a week. You can try it every day if this is your first time. Drinking kombucha is a very strong drink. It sort of tastes like a stronger soda to me. Um, and you can, like, every day give it a try. See how you like it until you get to the day that you like. Uh, seven days for me is enough. Um, then you can either drink it straight from, so obviously not this one. This is the one that holds my scoby. So what's going to happen is on Sunday, I'll do a short on it, but in seven days from today, so today is Sunday, so next Sunday, what we'll do is I'll take this liquid and I'll make another four cups of kombucha, I mean of tea. So I'll do another four cups of tea. And then what happens is I'll take this whole entire liquid, this whole entire liquid, and I put it in a half gallon. And this is enough for the half gallon. And then that one, if you want to put any um, flavoring, you can put actually fresh fruit. And if you put any fresh fruit or any, like we can use the elderberry um, liquid that we just made. We can use any of those organic drinks that you can make. Um, you can pour a little bit into the half gallon and then the rest of the kombucha. So that's what gives it the flavor of it so sunday i'll do a short because we did have some extra of the strawberry elderberry so i'm going to use half of the leftover of that and then the kombucha and it'll give it the strawberry elderly flavor so look for the short on that one but all right guys that was it for the kombucha i hope you enjoyed i think i have other videos in somewhere in my playlist where you can go back and review my older videos on how to make kombucha. If not, there is a load of videos out there that all you gotta do is how to make kombucha. And there's plenty of people out there teaching it. So thank you for watching. God bless. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys on the short on Sunday. Check it out. Bye.